What's up everybody, Brian Phobos here. We're here for another pool meeting and I wanna talk about a couple anonymous coins that may or may not be on your radar. So most people in the cryptocurrency space obviously know that Bitcoin is sort of pseudo anonymous to a certain extent. There can be blockchain analysis done and then they can ultimately kind of tell where transactions were done, do these type of analysis. So that's what sort of made things like Dash and Monero more popular. There's also been others like Cloak Coin, others that have came about. And a lot of times, one of the big things in the cryptocurrency space is to know, is this thing truly anonymous or not? Because let's say someone who's not a cryptographic expert, which I'm not, then it becomes tough. It's like, well, how do I, how do I really, really, really know if this is anonymous or not? Um, and I think you have to go by the developers trusted people in the industry to see what they're saying and just kind of gain a general consensus. Now, Dash and Monero work differently. Monero is a completely different code base, you know, from Bitcoin and, you know, kind of derivatives that ultimately led to Dash. Um, so I think that's a good thing. You've got these different code bases that work different cryptographically. And I really am I've always been bullish on Monero since I learned about it back in 2014. Um, was one of the original miners of Monero, yada, yada, yada. But I'm not pitching Monero. I don't know if it's gonna go up or down from here. I think in the future, we're gonna find some better buy points. But that being said, there is a fork of Monero called Aeon. And Aeon, one of the lead developers is Smooth. And Smooth's on Steemit. He's a big, he's a whale on Steemit. And even though I haven't agreed with everything that maybe Smooth has done at certain times, there were certain like flagging wars that were kind of going on at one point. And I haven't agreed with every single thing that maybe he's done. Don't really know who he is, but I know that he's legit. I know that he means well. And I think with Aeon, it's kind of a little bit like a sandbox. I would say it's like the Litecoin of Monero would be Aeon where they can kind of test new code, try try different things. Kind of with Litecoin, you know, they had SegWit implemented first before it's implemented on Bitcoin. And, um, but Smooth is a legitimate developer, you know, who knows? Like, I don't know if you would say top 10 guy, top 20 guy in the world, um, you know, these cryptographic experts, these people that are blockchain architects and know this stuff really, really well. So anyway, he's one of the lead developers now. One of the things with Aeon, I'm not telling you to go buy it. Um, ask your grandma, see what she thinks, if you should buy it. What I am saying though is it's something to look at. Something to look out for. It's lower on the list. I mean, it might be 120 or, or 150 or 200 on coin market cap. And it had a huge surge. Um, it was a hundred banger, maybe even a thousand banger. It, it freaking shot. Um, and I really didn't know, I didn't actually know anything about it until kind of after it spiked like that. Um, but anyway, it is one thing to look at. He's, you know, a trusted developer. But withdrawals are shut off from Bittrex for Aeon, so that's kind of causing some issues right now. It is on HitBTC, um, but it is something to kind of like make yourself aware about. Because personally, I think that Dash is overplayed. I think that Monero still has room for sure to grow, even in the short term, potentially not telling you to buy it or anything, something to keep your eye on. But then Aeon, you know, similar code base, but it has more trusted developers, I feel, than stuff like Bullberry, and I think there was Duckno and Bitcoin. Bitcoin was real scammy, how they kind of did this reverse ninja launch, weird thing. Um, but I'm not gonna go into that right now, so. Monero has better coders, um, better devs, more respected. The other one that I wanna talk about is Zcoin. So I never was impressed with Zcash. I did mine Zcash right when it came out because it was like $4,000 $4, a coin, you know, because they restricted the supply and I, I think it was kind of manipulation of what they were doing. But anyway, Zcoin is based on zero knowledge proof. And so it's, based on some of the same concepts as Zcash and Zcash Classic, um, but it's it's different. It's based on some of the like same cryptographic principles, 
but it ultimately works different. One of the other things too um, about Zcoin, it is, it is auditable, audible. <laughs> um, you can audit it essentially and tell how many coins have been released. Whereas with Zcash, you don't really know how many coins have been released. And they can say, well, these this many coins are being released at this amount of time. And then who knows if that's true, you really can't audit it. Zcoin, you can audit. Um, so I don't know. And with Zcash, I was never impressed with the fact that like 20% of the mining rewards were going to the original devs. No, don't get me wrong. Extremely difficult cryptography. You know, I expect people to get paid. Some some way, somehow, people want to get paid. So I, I get that. Um, but 20%, I don't know. I mean, and that was what Zcash Classic, they forked it, and then the mining reward and the kind of like heavy and or the the light initial distribution where it was like artificially kept scarce those things kind of changed with zcash zcash classic um but i don't recommend personally i don't i don't like those coins i just don't zcash is closed source and then it's kind of got a weird distribution in my mind and then you can't audit it you don't really know how many coins there are um, but anyway, my point of the video is if you're looking for some maybe like more speculative plays or projects to look into, look into Aeon and look into Zcoin. I don't have a position in either one. I'm personally doing more research on it myself. I just want to make you guys aware of it. Thank you for attending the pool meeting. See you guys later.